Hey guys, Mamie here with OneJoyousSkip.com. Thanks for joining me today. I am working on the Holiday Card Series Part 3 and the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop for 2016 in this video. And some of the products that I'm using are from my latest haul from CatScrappiness.com. So thanks for joining me and stay tuned. So here are some of the products that I'm using today that I got from Cat's store. And the first one is Baby Bow, then Kitty's Favorite Things, Newton Loves Coffee, Perfectly Plaid Christmas, and then I'm also using the Nested Roped Border Dies, Rectangle Dies, sorry, and Gina Marie Scallop Stitched Oval Dies. And those rope dies also come in an oval as well. And so first of all, I'm going to be using the Gina Marie Scallop Stitch Oval Die here, and I'm going to be using the Kitty from Kitty's Favorite Things. This is a stamp set from Neat and Tangled, and it's just precious. And so it comes with a bunch of other little embellishments, um, a bunch of other smaller images that you can use as well. And so I'm going to stamp this in the Versifying Black Onyx ink, and that's so that I can watercolor. And I'm going to heat set it also with some clear embossing powder, and that will help keep the watercoloring inside the image and so it won't bleed out as easily as if you didn't heat emboss the image. So I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle there. The black onyx ink is really great, crisp, bold ink. And so now I'm just going to go over it with that clear embossing powder. And I use my embossing buddy that kind of helps keep the um, embossing powder where it's supposed to go and not just all over the paper. And now I'm going to heat set this image. I'm going to put that to the side and now I'm going to work on the background where I'm going to be using several of the smaller images um, from both stamp sets of Kitty's Favorite Things and Newton Loves Coffee. I'm using Tide Pool by Hero Art, so I'm going to do some tone on tone stamping. And I'm trying to mix together some of the coffee themed images mixed with some of the images that also come in the Kitty's Favorite Things stamp set just to tie them together because I am doing this for my Christmas series but also for a coffee lovers blog hop and so as you can see I'm just stamping with no rhyme or reason um, just trying to keep them on the outside because I'm gonna have that oval right there in the middle and so you're not going to need to stamp very much in the middle at all so I'm gonna go off the edges of the card as well of the background so that it gives it a little more of an organic look. And so I try to stamp my bigger images first because they need to be in a certain area so that you can stamp around it with the smaller images so it just works better that way. And then finally I'm just kind of going back and trying to decide if I have some open space that I need to take up with a few more stamped images. And so here I'm using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers to color in the kitty. And I'm not going to go direct to paper because I want it to be a very washed out version of the coloring. And so I'm using gray brown for the kitty and I'm just spreading that on some acetate there and picking that up with um, my water brush. And this is a great water brush because it's very fine tip. And I will link it below if I can find uh, one online. I think I got this at my local Hobby Lobby. And so here you can see I'm going over that arm quite a bit. That's because as soon as I pulled out my water brush, I didn't wipe off the ex excess water. But there's no problem there because as soon as you go over it and there's a little bit too much water, you just wipe off your brush and then go over it again to pick up some more of that water so you can take it off. And so I'm not doing very much shading at all. I'm trying to keep this card quite simple so that anybody can replicate it. And I'm going a little bit darker on the sides of the kitty's face to create some shadow and then a lighter in the middle. So if you start on the outside and work your way in, you can get it lighter and lighter. And you can go over as many times as you want with the, um, with the watercolor if you want to create more darker shadows. And you can even take the marker itself and put it in the shadowed areas if you want to. But I'm trying not to spend too, too much time 
doing the shading, etc. And if you want to lighten up an area, you can just take your brush with just clean water and pick up some of that color. And then you can also add some back in by picking up more of the color. Okay, so I think Kitty's looking pretty cute. I'm just gonna darken him up a little bit. And I'm also going to be using the colors pale pink, and I'm gonna use the pale pink for the ears and the nose and the tummy. And then I'm gonna be using light carmine and that's gonna be for the cheeks. So those are the colors, the three colors that I'm using. Just finish him up here. I think that looks pretty good. And so now here I'm using that light pink, uh, sorry, pale pink, just to color in his little ears, give him a little bit of a flesh color, his nose, and a little bit on his belly. And then I'm also using the light carmine, and I'm gonna be using that for his cheeks. And I just love this image. It's a perfect size and it's really great to use uh, standing on its own or you can mix it with all the elements. So I really recommend this stamp set. It's really, really cute. It's got a great price point and it's a pretty small stamp set, but it has a lot of images in it. So there's a lot that you can do with it. I also used a little bit of my white pigment pen to put some little dots on the cheeks. I don't usually do that, but I just thought since the image is quite a, kind, of, kind of plain, I would do that. And now I took a little coffee cup from the Newton's Nook stamp set because there's not a coffee cup in the Neat and Tangled um, stamp set for the kitty. So that's why I'm mixing it together with the Newton's coffee. And so here I'm just showing you those stamp sets again and all the cute little elements that go with it. Now I'm just placing all of my layers together to kind of see how I want to have them laid out. And I used um, the nested rope border dies or the nested rope rectangle dies to create both panels here for the back page and the background as well. And I'm gonna tie a little bit of this twine around the bottom and I'm just fidgeting with that a little bit. I'm going to create a little bow here. I'm going to layer up this panel with um, some foam tape because I ha do have that rope, the twine going across the back. And if you don't add some dimension, then you'll have a bumpy panel and you don't want that. So you need to add a little bit of dimension behind the, um, behind the panel here. I'm just adding a glue dot there to the bow so that it doesn't move around on me. And now I'm just using that fun foam that I have to layer this up, to build this up a little bit, give it some dimension. And I'm gonna be using my Tombow Mono Multi glue here to put all this together. And I'm going to put that right on my card base right there.
I'm gonna put the little kitty here in the middle and I'm also going to pop him up a little bit as well. By the way, sorry for my voice. I we've got some pretty bad allergies. Um, I've got some pretty bad allergies right now, so just bear with me for a couple weeks. So I popped that up, and now I'm also going to search for a sentiment that I'm going to use on this card. And so I end up using the sentiment from the Newton's Cough Loves Coffee stamp set. And I wasn't sure exactly where I was going to put it or how I wanted it to look. So I also pulled out the, a um, speech bubble from Heidi Swap that I got from, I think, Michael's a year or two ago. But you can use just any speech bubble. You can even cut out your own speech bubble. So it comes with a little die and it also comes with a little stamp that comes with it as well. So you can create a little border for your um, speech bubble. And I'm going to cut that out in just some red cardstock. And I'm going to stamp this also using the Onyx Black Versafine ink as well. And so I decide to go with the sentiment that says coffee is always a good idea and it fit perfectly in that little bubble so that worked out well. Pardon my head but I like to get right on top of it so that I can make sure it's right inside. And I'm going to double up the dimension on this speech bubble by folding over just some fun foam twice or folding it over once to give it twice the thickness. And if you haven't noticed, I'm not a very neat card maker. <laughs> so by the end of a card, my hands are just filthy and I don't even know why I paint my nails because they end up just chipped and covered in glue, but that's just the way I roll, so. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good, so I'm gonna let that dry for a second. So lastly, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Irresistible Pico Embellisher, kinda like glossy accents over the coffee cup and his little nose, and that's gonna pretty much finish up my card. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I hope that you'll subscribe and join me again next time, and you can always visit me at www.onejoyouskip.com. Have a great day.